Released on June 1st, 2012 in 3D, this poorly conceived but ultimately inevitable follow-up to the 3D horror comedy film from 2010 was a massive critical and commercial disappointment, failing to earn back even a third of its meager $20 million budget. This goofy and embarrassing film is the first theatrical release for John Gulliger, the former winner of Project Greenlight, a short-lived HBO reality TV show which sought to give amateur first-time filmmakers a chance to direct a feature. His inexperience clearly shows here, with the otherwise capable cast flailing around on screen with little motivation to even bother saving themselves from their own deaths. With the boobs flopping and bouncing in nearly every scene, the plot here, if you can even call it that, is an insultingly rudimentary one. With a loose connection to the much sharper and self-aware original, this sequel continues the terror of vicious prehistoric piranhas swimming where they don't belong. Okay, this is galvanized steel. There we go. Hey, oh, no, 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 not the frog! Ah. Sorry, I sold out at Puppies this morning. This time around, it's a brand new stripper-themed water park, owned and operated by David Cochner, a smarmy misogynist who delivers some of the film's only amusing jokes, before being promptly dispatched by his own arrogance. Unlike the brash cleverness and tongue-in-cheek treatment of the first installment, this picture is never suspenseful, but instead approaches spoof levels of nonsense. One ridiculous sequence has two of the hapless meatbags attempting to outrun the scary flesh-eating fish, not in a pool or a lake, but above water, on a dock. The characters are so brain-dead and inept, they lack the intelligence to walk in a straight line, leave a car in park, or simply climb out of a four-foot pool to safety. The cast features some lesser-known but familiar faces, including Katrina Bowden, Matt Bush, Daniel Panabaker, and smaller cameo-style appearances from Gary Busey, Christopher Lloyd, Ving Rhames, and in a hilarious over-the-top concept, David Hasselhoff as himself, whose fledging career has forced him to attend the park's grand opening as a publicity stunt. The acting is static and exaggerated, but the abundant gratuitous nudity, bloody gore, and decent special effects thankfully keep things interesting long enough to keep the entire train wreck afloat. In one of the picture's most bizarrely stupid yet amusing scenes, one young hottie eagerly proclaims, Josh cut off his penis because something came out of my vagina. With a brisk pace and a ridiculously short runtime of only 70 minutes, not including the overwrought blooper-heavy 12-minute credit sequence, this creature feature concludes long before it overstays its welcome. Some fun use of familiar theme songs keep things light, but the unbelievable circumstances at which so many dumb kids get eaten in this movie makes many scenes hard to swallow. Pardon the pun. Poorly directed, childish, badly acted, anticlimactic, and downright insulting at times, this film is only redeemable ironically, with a number of laughs coming at the film's own expense. But plenty of carnage, nudity, and spoof-style humor somehow make this escapade in bad taste almost worth watching. Piranha 3 Double D, derivatively childish antics, fleeting fun. Well, those are my thoughts on this horror film. Now let's check out some of your reviews from the YouTube comments. Here's the rate matic to score Piranha 3 Double D, a 4 and a 5. You were fans of this movie's lack of filter, the naked females, of course, and the general spoof feeling to it all. You thought it was all right. A fun guilty pleasure for sure, I was far less impressed by this feature than I was with 2010's original, which I scored a surprising 8 here on Movie Night. This sequel is not nearly as inventive or suspenseful. Couple that with the weaker story, acting, and dumber characters, and I thought it was just meh. 